Pisces, welcome to your read. We're going to be looking at the tarot for you for the mid-month of March. These are general readings, so take it how it resonates for you. You can apply this to co-workers, workers, friends, lovers, relationships. And as always, if it Take what resonates, leave the rest for everybody else. Um, if you'd like your own personal read, by the way, my email is in the description. Feel free to reach out to me for your personal tarot or astrology and birth chart reading. Um, And my social media links are also listed there below where you can follow me on Instagram. And that's where I do try to update daily. If you just want to get to know me and who the tarot card reader is, that's where you can find me. All right, Pisces, let's get started with your read here. How do you like the new format, by the way, Pisces? This is just for this week. Uh, I just felt like doing something different, yeah? Let's change it up a little bit. Um, I may keep this format a little bit. So far, so good. I'm enjoying it, because I can kind of take my time. But I do think I like showing my face, too, on these tarot reads. Let's get started with your read here, Pisces. Um, you have the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands in the recent past. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, Queen of Swords. In the future, the Winged Boar, Nine of Chalices, and the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> the general energy is the Ten of Chalices. You are here because you want to know about a specific person and a specific event here in your life. Um, and this specific person seems to be kind of childish, maybe coming in and out, but I think in the end here, what you want to know is if this is the person that's meant for you for the rest of your life. And Pisces, you get a card here that's very familiar with the Pisces on this channel. You seem to always get these lucky cards. This is the winged boar. This is a very lucky card for you and it comes out again. So maybe it's from the past read into this read that we've got this card and I believe this was like maybe two months ago and I told you there's something here that happens that you just can't believe and you have two very good cards following that and actually I'm not going to talk about the two cards that show up here not yet we'll save them for the end um two very beautiful cards um this read is very beautiful it's not going to be my thing but i am not going to neglect what the cards are trying to tell me on the table somebody might have to hear this read this month and congratulations pisces you get the read that everybody wants when they come to a tarot read um that it, i certainly see that in the past, there was somebody here that showed up as this page of pentacles with messages, with loyalty. Something that showed up very nice, although it was very slow, very passionate. There was something that you could plant your 
roots into. Now I do feel because we go from the 1 to the 10, it was a little fast. Somebody here couldn't hold their horses, and I, maybe it was the both of you here with the Ten of Wands. Now, with this is that maybe you were dropped for something here, and there is a, a door here now in the present energies that's being opened up for you, and while you've been waiting for an energy here, you shift from this temperance of wanting healing with your person and waiting for something something at a distance you shift when it shows up you're finally trying to cut it away forever I love this card in this deck because you know it didn't show up balanced in the past it did for a while but now when it shows up, it's it's kind of like playing again. You may feel that way or you may feel like, nah, you know, like you left. Why do I need to take you back here? Um, but I feel like there's a little bit of you inside of this Queen of Swords that has a little empathy left for this past person. I don't know what it is because if you were dropped, maybe you didn't want to be dropped and... Maybe you're waiting for that doorway to open again here. And with the winged boar, I do think that doorway is going to open up with this person again for you, Pisces. There's a wish fulfillment here. And although I don't see manifestations on the table, I see that this is definitely you doing the work on yourself. And the universe kind of rewarding you here with something that you may have felt with your intuition you're very connected to. The Queen of Wands here, though, is you not being afraid to take risks now. Whereas with the Queen of Swords, you were kind of like, I don't want to take this person back. Uh, not after they've done that. Um, but you can't lie to me. You want this person back, Pisces. You know? Um, you're in the space of, no, 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 I don't want this person back. But you do. You wouldn't be coming to this read about the past person wanting to know if there's some sort of reunion or something here about emotional fulfillment and we go from the nine of cups here to your energy of the ten of chalice you want to know if it's going to be the the end game scenario with this person and i say yes but you can't be afraid to get burned i'm sorry this is sounding like a cookie cutter tarot card read but these are just what the cards that i was dealt and this is the way my intuition is talking about the cards for some of you Pisces that you're you're tough Pisces and you don't want to hear it, um, you know, maybe this isn't your read, but there is a Pisces here that you close yourself off to a person here coming back from the past, although you don't want to close yourself off as much as you want to. You know that you want to take a risk with your person. And the cards are saying that, yeah, you can take that risk. Let's figure out what happened here in the past with this page. There's a lot of cards just trying to jump out. Or is it just me being a bad shuffler? It's me being a bad shuffler. Okay. All right. Let's see what this Page of Pentacles has to say here. This loyal page, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands. There was somebody here that was a little shy coming forward towards you. That may be a hint for some of you. But I believe once the communication started, um, yeah, there was a thing. There was definitely a thing between the two of you. Something that was definitely deep. Uh, brought to you by the universe here, a connection. Let's see with this Ten of Wands here. Three of Chalices, Ten of Swords, and the Two of Chalices. Um, I picked this up only one way. Like, this person may have been a cheater. They may have gone and played off with other energies, another man, another woman. And as soon as they did that, it was like, 
instant regret for them. And here they are trying to come back and heal the situation with you, but you're being closed and cold to that. Forgiveness is hard, especially when someone's hurt you. And with this Queen of Swords under that, I definitely see you. I see your side of the story, Pisces. I see it. And it's funny because most of the signs, I've been catching their story on the, the left side and their person showing up on the right side. But I'm picking up your, you're the only sign this week I'm picking up on the right side. Now, I know you guys are saying, well, Joey, stick to your format. No. I do whatever the hell I want with my tarot channel. You make your own YouTube stick to your format, okay? I'm just kidding. But um, this side is definitely you here. This Ace of Pentacles here, let's see what the Ace of Pentacles has to say. Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Ace of Wands. Um, somebody's definitely holding on to your energy, and I do feel like I do get a sense of like... There may be new people in your space and that's causing conflict with the old person and the old person's still trying to budge their way through here maybe and um maybe that's why the temperance is here that you're kind of waiting for things to kind of like settle down and before you can kind of recalibrate what's going on here with this person let's clarify the queen of swords i already know why she's here there's only one answer to why the queen of swords is here Pisces, we know why she's here. You don't want this past person back. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You want somebody that's going to work on you and not betray you here. And with this Queen of Wands, you know, it's funny because she's under here. And now she's clarifying here. Um, and I told you I wasn't going to talk about the cards at the bottom, but there was a reason why. And look, she's showing up here for Queen of Wands. We'll talk about her when we get to her. And... Um, I know this clarification is going to kind of spoil that. So I'm going to be kind of um, careful how I word this for you. Because there is something about this Queen of Wands here. But with this Queen of Swords, she's being clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. You don't want things to show up in betrayal. You want things to show up on people that are going to work on you. Great. And you still demand that in all your queenly manner. It doesn't matter queens. There's no sex in tarot for the king or queen when it's on YouTube. You know, it's, if you're male. Why am I grabbing this deck? I'll grab the clarifier deck. I will explain about this queen of wands here. So let's clarify this winged board card here. Um, so you, Pisces might remember when I said there's something here you just can't believe it's going to happen to you. That, here I am again, Pisces. There's something here in the future you just can't believe. I feel like this person shows up with gifts. I feel like this person shows up with like like perfume or they show up with like a, a present for you, something, or they show up trying to win you back somehow like they really show up trying to work for you here um like i said this is their side the nine of wands even though that they've been damaged and shut down by you this queen of wands they're still here trying to build something with you with the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles but you keep because the three and the two make a five of pentacles you keep leaving them out in the cold not giving them a second chance to come back in now this wish fulfillment i feel like it's between the both of you um Deep down inside, you know, you kind of want this person back, but you're kind of like being stubborn about it where you're like, no, and I wouldn't say stubborn. If somebody's hurt you, you're probably just sticking to your word of I would never take you back. You know, I understand that. Oh, and God, wow, you have a really, wow. Um... Yeah, there there is a wish fulfillment here for you, Pisces, and um, this Queen of Wands is not afraid to take risk. There's a lesson here from the universe about forgiveness, and maybe you have to forgive a person here.
But forgiving a person means you might get burned again. The queen of fire is not afraid of fire. Why don't you take a risk, Pisces? If there's somebody trying to knock down the door and they keep trying to prove to you that they made a mistake, even if you don't take them back, it's okay to forgive somebody. It's okay to burn the past and forgive them and let them go. But if there's that little bit inside of you trying to go back, you would take it back. And somebody really showing you that they're trying to win you back, The clarifiers show me that there's somebody here willing to give you a whole lot of love with the lover's card. Somebody willing to give you your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. Somebody that opened their intuition, that received higher learning. from you. Somebody that sees relationships now from a spiritual place and them leaving the play around with somebody else in the past and then realizing they've made a mistake. That hurts. But you can't carry a mistake and you can't carry a grudge into the afterlife anyways, right? Just like you can't take people. I say this a million times on my channel. But what you can do is give forgiveness and release people here. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups here while you're here. For some of the Pisces that you want to take this person back if they do show up, I, I agree. But they got to prove it to you. Okay, and they prove it to you by building with the Three of Coins and Two of Pentacles here. Four of Swords, the Chariot, and the King of Pentacles. Well, there he is. Look, that was the King of Pentacles that was here at the beginning of the read is now... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that wasn't a King of Pentacles. I'm sorry. That was a page. Look, that was a page. But now they show up as a king moving forward after they've healed out of something. There's somebody here that shows up as a king. Giving you emotional fulfillment. It's all whether you take a risk and allow yourself to play with the fire again. And that may be difficult, that may be scary for some of you. For some of you, you're very halfway in the road about this energy, whether they come back and you try. I say you do try, you don't be afraid to get burned. It looks like somebody really wants to work on you, Pisces. Let's see what's being hidden from you, though. Knight of Pentacles, they're coming your way again. They are. It's slowly coming your way. Um, the thing is that you already know they're coming your way. Because although this person's armored, they're exposed here. You could see their tiny foot here exposed through all that armor. Um, you know, when they left that first time, you already know. You knew they'd be back. You knew they'd be back to heal the situation with you, but that the, when they came back, you weren't going to take that. You were going to put them through suffering. You wanted them to feel the pain. Your fear is the decision about physically returning with the person. Two of Wands. 
your hidden fear is that some of you, and that, that is kind of like the theme of the read, how I felt, some of you deep down inside still want this person back, even though you're not taking them back. Your answer is that if you allow yourself to get burned, I mean, you're only responsible for you as a queen here. It might end up being the best story of your life because you've learned to forgive somebody with this Queen of Wands and this High Priestess. Pisces, there's somebody here that shows up from your past and you don't have to take them back. You can forgive them, you can release them. Or for some of you that do want to take this person back, it will turn into something healthy for you. It will turn into something the way you wanted it to be. It will turn into emotional fulfillment. Instead of showing up like a page, they show up like the King of Pentacles. That's it for your read, Pisces. I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy.